what's going on everybody welcome back to another shiny shuriken video we are here with week four of the pwd that's right the pwd is moving along nice and uh smoothly we've got week four already and that's just blowing my mind um we've got a very tough matchup on our hands the number one team in the power rankings definitely going to be a top five team i think finishing up this season um regardless of how their season turns out i think it's still just a top team because this team is is stacked it is just built um it's centered around of course that gmax cinderace probably the strongest gmaxer um well yeah strongest gmaxer i would say in the game with cinderace just being absolutely busted and and uh that libero ability being a nightmare from a gmax standpoint with those max airstreams um with just all of it so crazy crazy strong um, definitely going to be able to do a lot. You can see it's been picking up a lot of those kills, um, eight kills to two deaths. So Cinderace has done some work, um, but also the electric terrain team that's built here with Alolan Raichu, Pincurchin, and um, Halucha, you know, being able to use that terrain super, super well. So uh, we've got a tough team on our hands and um, I think we've got something for them. You know, we'll see. I think it might surprise them to still see some of the likes of like Inteleon and whatnot. Um, you know, still use the rain, the ice core here. Um, we did a little bit of test practice matches and we'll see how it goes. If things can go off the way that I hope they do, then we'll, we should be okay. But Carlos is not the same person that I prep with. So uh, I know that he plays very different. Um, he's not perfectly predictable, but he is to an extent, um, somebody that we can play prediction with, I think. So, um, the full send it motto isn't a hundred percent, but it is a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm bringing this week. Uh, we've got the G-Max Intellion coming, although it's holding choice specs. And we rocked, uh, we rocked Hydro Pump onto there, um, really to actually add in um, the uh, opportunity to Oko Pincurchin. I mean, a, a specs Hydro Pump from Intellion is going to hurt anyone. Um, Intellion absolutely obliterates, and um, God forbid I ever get a crit on a Hydro Pump. I mean, I don't have like scope lens or anything, but ooh boy. Um, so the best things that resist it are um, Duraludon. Um, Duraludon hits it, takes it pretty well, especially if it's got some special defensive investment, things like that. Duraludon can take the Hydro Pump pretty well, but not great. It's still well over half. Um, and then um, Decidueye takes it okay, but it's still going to really, really hurt because Decidueye doesn't have great special defense. Um, not fantastic. And it just it hurts everybody else. Um, Lorantis with an Assault Vest could take it extremely well, um, and that's probably the best bet, but that's why we also have Ice Beam on there. We can uh, hit that in a Halucha and just do a lot of damage on a lot of things. So, um, G-Max and Teleon with the um, Choice Specs are coming. Up next, we've got Ninetales. No change to Ninetales except for Blizzard over Freeze Dry. Um, rocking um, Max Speed, Max Special Attack on a Timid Nature and holding the Icy Rock to get the most out of the Hail because he's not really a weather setter. Um, he's just a terrain setter. So um, the weather's kind of free to us, hopefully. We'll see um, if they bring if he brings anything in store for us. So um, he can obviously run Sunny Day, Rainy Day, Rain Day, Rain Dance, whatever it is on somebody if he wants, but uh, we'll see. Um, up next is the Alolan Sand Slash. We've got Alolan Sand Slash coming with the Focus Sash, of course. There is a little bit of tech in here in case um, he does get away from me um, with the Alolan Raichu and the terrain. We do have Steel Roller on here instead of Iron Head. Uh, we can break the terrain. I can also use my own terrain to get off a, a base 130 um, Steel Roller. <clears throat> and then uh, my earthquakes are free after that and everything so um, there's some potential to bust some terrains here with sand slash if we can get it off going all right so the focus sash is in case we get hit first and we can still um hit the raichu right back it can't oko me with um um psychic or rising voltage but um it'll obviously still hurt um but we can also get rocked out by quite a bit on this team especially of course that cinderace so that's why the so the sash is still there is to fire back and hit hard um, up next, we have the uh, Rillaboom coming. Um, Rillaboom is holding the Assault Vest. Actually, um, no change in its build from last uh, week. Um, actually, the last two weeks. We've just kind of left this one. Um, Rillaboom, uh, performing all right, but a little bit underwhelming. Um, it does very, very well here to hit some things. Um, it uh, most notably cannot Oko. <clears throat> with Grassy Glide at max attack adamant, it cannot KO under Grassy Terrain a Rhyperior at max HP. So God forbid there be some max HP and some defense build in there um, with Avalanche and Megahorn just rocking me right back and hitting me really hard. So 
Um, definitely gonna hurt, but we do well to resist the likes of um, Raichu and any special attacker. Um, Duraludon, if it's fit, is it, if it's special, we resist that one, which I think it would be because a lot of this team is physical um, and lacking a lot of the special attackers. So I think Duraludon is kind of sealed up to be a special attacker, possibly. So that assault vest is looking pretty nice right there um, to give me a special defense checker to all this. Uh, defensive offensive uh, whatever yeah moving on <laughs> surfetch is coming uh with a choice scarf um choice scarf surfetch of course outspeeds cinderace um and can hit it really really tough it can hit everything really tough so um scarf just lets me hit things because it's not very fast and honestly just damage out looked better than trying to play around with some of my walls my walls Pukamuku, which doesn't stack up well in this matchup. So, um, you know, we're looking good here um, as far as that goes, and uh, we'll be able to hit some things hard with Choice Scarf, whether it be Knock Off, Brave Bird, com Close Combat, or Leaf Blade. Um, Leaf Blade, of course, helps me hit the Rhyperior super effectively, um, and uh, I can hit a lot of other things. If we can get some knockoff predictions going, we'll do pretty well here. Raichu is coming with the Lightning Rod ability to uh, counter Alolan Raichu in that Rising Voltage, along with Pincurchin. Um, I can't do too much to Pincurchin if I get in on it, but Raichu is actually a little bit of a stall mon um, using Fake Out and Protect with Leftovers. So Fake Out to just stall out a turn of, of Electric Terrain if we can, um, and Protect to stall out further turns so we can kind of bounce back and forth. Brick Break is in there in case Meowstic comes with the... Um, with the screens and knockoff, of course, just because knockoff hits this team really, really well. It hits Decidueye, it hits um, Meowstic, it hits Raichu. It just it hurts these Pokemon quite a bit. So um, Dracloak as well, getting rocked by knockoff. So uh, definitely bringing a couple of knockoff users here, or th three to be exact, with Rillaboom, Surfesh, and Raichu. So. That's the team we're gonna be bringing. Um, we don't have a lot of defense. I mean, the only real defense we have is Rillaboom and his special defense uh, with the Assault Vest. So uh, we take things really, really well. We wall up on Duraludon uh, and we wall up on Alolan Raichu super well with knockoffs being kind of free. Um, Rillaboom, of course, also being that grassy surge, being able to kill the terrain. So it'll be interesting to see if Carlos tries to use my tech against me. Um, big kudos and I kind of expect we could potentially see it uh, with him rocking grassy seed over electric seed or something like that or to activate like unburden or something um, and utilizing my terrain against me so we could definitely see it and um, steel roller on Duraludon could also be coming so we could see a physical Duraludon by all means uh, I don't think it's likely um, but you never know so that's the uh, team we're going to be bringing and I'll show you guys what I think he's going to be rocking with here um, I think this is the team that we're going to be seeing. I think we see GMAX, Cinderace, Pincurchin, Raichu, Halucha, Duraludon, and Meowstic. I think that's the team because I think it gives him the best opportunity to use the offensive threats of this team. I don't think he's going to try to play stall um, too much. I mean, he could. He could go with, like, um, Dracloak and stuff and try to play around and pivots and all this kind of stuff, but I really just don't think it comes. I did look at... Hatrum for a potential magic bouncer on the Pincurchin with all the hazard abilities that it has. Um, but ultimately, I'm um, looking to just kind of Oko Pincurchin with uh, Choice Specs Hydro Pump. So in my match, my first uh, practice matchup on Showdown, I actually did end up um, getting a good lead off. I went with Inteleon. Uh, my opponent actually brought Rhyperior um, and um, switched out into Pincurchin right away and we O-Code with the Hydro Pump, so it was perfect. Um, the terrain went up, of course, and they were able to do some stuff, but um, first match went super well. All practice matches went really well. We'll see how it goes, um, and we'll try our best to snag a win from the uh, top team in the power rankings. So I will uh, catch you guys over there when we connect. We are connected with Coach Bloud, um, and I have forgotten this every week because no, I'm a douche. Um, I have forgotten to say, you know, links are down in my description for my opponents uh, when they have channels, you guys. So always please go check them out and show some love. Uh, week one, I went up against Arts. His link is down below in that description. Week two, I went up against um, Squid. His is up there. Um, week three, I went up against um, Shade. His link is in that one. Um, and Carlos, um, aka Bloud, will be um, down below. Bloud is new to YouTube and I'm also new to saying Bloud. I've usually referred to him as Carlos, so it's going to take me a second. So you might hear both. 
Um, Inteleon, Rillaboom, Surfetch, Ninetales, Sandslash, Raichu. All right, mm, we'll see. Mm, love to see Inteleon get some Ks, some KOs here. Um, I think everything moves right. We'll see. Hi, can I move you? You're in my way, and I'm in the middle of battle. Cat. She's just sitting right in front of the mic. Well, good luck to Coach. Um, all right, cool. Okay, so no meow stick. Actually, you know what? I'm all right with that. So we get five out of six, right? Which is pretty easy. Um, I think his team's pretty predictable. Um, because there's just so much power in that core of five. I imagine it's probably tough to not bring them. Um, like, you'll probably never see this team go without a G-Maxer. So we're just going to go Inteleon and let it rip off the start. It's like an 85% full send it motto <laughs> this week. So um, Inteleon is up first. Um, we've got Raichu in the bag to help us. Rillaboom with the terrain change. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Carlos is a good battler. I think this is like only the second time I've ever battled him. I think he won season one matchup as well. All right, so we got a Decidueye leadoff. So I'm just gonna fire off an Ice Beam. If he's scarfed, good on you. Good on you. Nobody likes Ice Beams. Cinderace is like the only one that takes it super well. Continuing to try to click buttons here, folks. He is scarfed. He is scarfed, so. Um, turn one, GG's. Oh, I live it. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay. And uh, Decidueye's gone. All right. Specs is going to do some damage. So he sees my specs. That's unfortunate. What does he bring in? Pinkurchin? I don't know if I kill Pinkurchin. Hydro Pump was to kill Pinkurchin. Duraludon. Wait, wait, wait. Um. There's like a chance to crit. No. I should switch. I want to keep this. So um, let's find out um, if he's physical or special, and we're going to go into Rillaboom. Rillaboom was a good switch in practice. Um, Cinderace is a sucker punch away from getting murdered. I don't know what else really gets priority, if anything. We've got the Surge up. Let's see what he goes with. If he goes Thunderbolt. He goes Dark Pulse, so, okay. Um, nice middle ground play, we eat that up. I'm gonna go Knock Off. I think Knock Off's a good play. He could go Pink Kirchin here, which is what I'm expecting. Um, and I should, honestly, s switch out of Pink Pinkurchin. Um, but let's see what he wants to do. I'm gonna go Knock Off. He saw that I ate that up. So it is the special Duraludon. Like I said before, um, in looking at the team, he's really got a, a weakness on special attackers. So I think it's like a really safe bet to look at Duraludon as a special attacker each week. Now he absolutely could bring it as a mixed attacker. Um, you know, when you're looking over the teams, you do want to see you know how well balanced it is on that attack front. Um, it's we you might think it's weird that I went with the special defensive variant. Um, to uh, counter Duraludon and stuff and counter his special attackers when he has so many more defensive ones and I could have easily gone Grassy Seed, but I felt like this was kind of the better one. And there's the Pink Urchin, just like I guessed. Okay. So, let's get some uh, read on this one, on uh, if he's defensive or off, um, whatever he is. Here's the knockoff. I'd say he's pretty defensive, and there goes the terrain extender, so it, it already worked. Um, 
Let's see here, does he want a memento? I'll just U turn, no. What am I scared of? Grassy Glide, no. Knock off, no. Ugh. I'll go Drain Punch. Does he memento is the question. Okay, it does nothing. He's definitely more defensive. So he stays in. Does he memento? Does he set up? Does he want to get some stuff going? So he does actually want to get some stuff going. So, okay. All right. turn, but what do I want to go into? Okay, we'll U-turn. Um, probably the best bet. We can go into Ninetales, who's going to get poisoned, but that's okay. Let's go Ninetales. See what he wants to do here. We get poisoned, not toxic. And does he set up spikes? If he does, I think it's kind of important to. Okay, he goes for the straight up toxics. Okay, so we can go ahead and try and rapid spin those away with um, Sand Slash. Hale's gonna do some chips out here. Probably best bet is to, oh, fart. That's supposed to be blizzard, not freeze dry. All right, there's the first mess up. Uh, that's fine. It's fine, um, I hope. Moonblast, probably the best bet, right? Or Dark Pulse. I'm gonna go Dark Pulse. Maybe he switches. Yep, go Riot you. Holy crap, would that be legit if he went Riot you? No, we get the um, Duraludon. Okay. See how specially defensive this is. All right. <sighs> All right, so let's go ahead and set up Veil here. I'm burning these turns of, of, ice, of snow. He was special. Mixed? I don't know if it gets Brick Break or not, it would be so clutch. That'd be a nice play. It goes Flash Cannon. And, God, I wish I had Blizzard. Oh, wow, I still die. Okay. All right, free switch into, um, it's a free switch into Sand Slash. We won't get Poison, because we're Steel. And I'm just gonna click Rapid Spin. And if he wants to switch, do something. He might um, Dynamax to try and, well, I don't know why. Could Dynamax. I'm guessing there's a switch here. I'm guessing he wants to go for the Surge Surfer. And I think with a plus one in speed, we would outspeed the Surge Surfer. All right, T-Spikes are gone. He keeps the terrain setter around, which is good, good, good. Good for him. There's the flash cannon. Let's see how much damage it does through a veil. Cool, cool. All right. And I think at this point, we are good to go ahead and... I just want to check something. Sand Slash. Um, I'm Jolly. Let's see here, plus... Plus one in the hail. Yeah, I don't think. And then uh, we'll uh, riot you with electric terrain. Yeah, I outspeed, so we can Dynamax. And we'll go for the Max Quake here. If he switches Halucha, fantastic on him. Let's do this. I think Dur Duraludon's gone. He didn't switch, so Duraludon's gone. 
I hit Halucha hard. I hit um, Raichu hard. Cinderace can sucker punch. Heart's pounding. <laughs> okay, so we get rid of the Duraludon, thank goodness. Okay. So, we're looking all right. Um, we're looking okay. I think we still have three, at least three turns of uh, hail left, so we still have some speed out here. He could go, um, let's just change these to 50. I outspeed this unless he's scarfed. Veil's still up, and I have a Spadef boost. Um, a fantastic play here. Let's see what... Um, I kind of feel like there's no reason to not go Max Hailstorm. I think everything's right on this calc here. I'm just gonna, the safe play here is to go for the Hailstorm on the switch into Halucha. He doesn't switch and he doesn't Dynamax, so this should be a KO, unless he's sashed. He's sashed, okay, that's fine. Through Veil, Dynamaxed. Big damage out there, and he's going down to hail. And Raichu's gone. I think the terrain just disappeared, and I still have hail. He goes for gear because he wants to reset the terrain for Halucha. Get <laughs> two turns of hail left. I really want to go max now. Max Hailstorm's the nice easy coverage. And we get this KO here, so Pink Urchin's gone. One last turn here, so he can go into Halucha and Dynamax. I think I also, this might be my last turn of Veil. Veil might have come down. Um, he actually goes for the Cinderace. Okay, goes for the Cinderace, so. Um, so he wants a Sucker Punch, right? Veil is down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Slush Rush, last turn of Hail, Electric Terrain is up. It's only four turns. Um, I kind of want to see if we can get this steel roller off. And stop this terrain. Let's go for it. Sucker Punch, I think, is the play, unless he Dynamaxes, which then Sand Slash is just kind of setting us up for the next bet. So he Dynamaxes, so the steel roller is gonna hurt, which means Earthquake was probably the play. That's okay though. Cinderace, Dynamax. Cinderace, oh, that was level 100. Um, so we get rid of the electric terrain. And if he goes, if he goes hail, um, okay, he goes fireball. So here's the dealios. Here's the dealios. Inteleon can put in work here.
life orb. There goes the hail. Let's do a real quick calc here. Choice specs. Inteleon. faster. I'm faster. He can't be faster than me. Spec snipe shot should do 81 to 95 on the Dynamax. Level 50, level 50. Timid, choice specs, snipe shot, Libero. Unless he's got investment, I want to click Hydro Pump, but I don't want to. Let's go snipe shot. He used Max Guard. Okay. He's gonna turn into normal type. All right, that helps him. That helps him. That was a good play. And we are locked into snipe shot here. Snipe shot still could do a lot, and there's also the chance to crit. No crit, but we put big damage out there. He goes for the airstream. He's gonna get his speed boost, which is good. Solid plays, good plays to switch over to the normal type. Inteleon did fantastic. Inteleon goes down. Um, Sand Slash is down, right? All right, so here we're going to go out into Raichu. We're gonna go for the fake out. There's no terrain, there's no nothing. So let's go fake out here. So Brick Break wasn't needed and an electric move would be nice to hit Halucha. But that's okay. Um, we definitely don't want to knock off the, um, whatever you would call it. Oh yes, oh we got the crit fake out. Oh, that was so clutch. All right, so here comes Halucha. That was clutch. That was super clutch. Um, so let's see here. Cinderace is down. I can't knock him off. Um, so let's go ahead and switch on the Swords Dance. Does he switch on the Swords Dance? Should we... Oh god, I can't protect and give him that free turn. I don't think... Uh, let's take a quick look here. Halucha. Because he'd be rocking Acrobatics, right? Acrobatics should not KO. Oh wait. Should not KO my Surfetched. It shouldn't. I think. We'll see. Maybe he's Choice Banded. That'd be weird. Because that'd be weird. Not in Burden. Does he go Acrobatics? He goes Brick Break. Okay. That's huge damage. We are Scarfed for the win. Come on, Brave Bird. Oh, that's okay, we have priority. Okay, sweet, I think we're gonna pick up this win. Um, Raichu can come in and fake out. And we're gonna take down Carlos. Surfetch goes down, Surfetch did such a good job. Way to go, Surfetch. And we'll give this last KO to Raichu. Because Riot Chu picked up that fake out crit on Cinderace, which really got us this one. And we're gonna go Riot Chu, and we're gonna go fake out. That is so great. Um, we pick up this win. GG's to Carlos. I saw the specs in Teleon. Um, 
and I just knew that's what had to come this week. So, GG's. Awesome. That is a fantastic play. Sandslash did its work. We, we played really well. Um, proud of the team. Alucha goes down for the last one. And we pick up a 2-0. There you go, we didn't go to timer. Uh, team did its work. We brought the right stuff. Specs and Teleon was, I think, the uh, MVP as well as Sandslash did. Um, super proud. So, GG's again to Coach Bloud. I think I've been calling him Carlos the whole match, but uh, guys, don't forget, his uh, link will be in the descriptions. And if you could do me a favor, go back, check out my prior matches, weeks one through three. Um, and check out the links in those descriptions to Arts, Squid, and Shade, um, all fantastic content creators. I really like these guys, I like this league. Um, and um, awesome, Fargo Phalanx get a win, and we go to two and two, and we take down the number one in the power rankings. So, um, all right, next week is week five. I have no clue who we have, but I'll catch you guys later, and uh, make sure to smash that like button for the Fargo Phalanx picking up a win. And um, we will uh, be back. I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh, if, I meant to say if you're new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.